Hello everybody. Today I have a new experiment for you to try with your Makey Makey. So grab a computer, a Makey Makey kit, and some Play-Doh or clay, and let's make a video game controller. We're going to make two today, one for Mario and the other for Tetris. Let's get started. Let's start with the Tetris controller first. This controller is really simple and we will only need the four arrow buttons to play. But we're going to need five alligator clips altogether because we always need to ground our Makey Makey so that it can operate properly. Let's start by attaching all four alligator clips to their arrow keys. Now we're going to make our buttons. You can make them as big or as small as you'd like. I'm going to make mine into little round domes, but your buttons can be flat or lumpy or in whatever shape you'd like. Just use your imagination and have fun with it. If you haven't played Tetris before, it's a fun game out of the 80s from Russia. You move different shaped bricks around and try to make them fit together to complete rows and score points. You can arrange your buttons like me, or any way that you think feels comfortable or right for the game. I'm going to have my left, right, and down arrow keys on the left side. My up key is going to be on the right side. Left and right, move your bricks left and right. Down makes your bricks fall faster, and the up key is the button that rotates your bricks, so you can try to fit it into different places better. This step is easy. We're just going to connect our clips to our buttons now. Make sure you pay attention to which buttons you're attaching them to, or you might end up with a fun surprise. Now we need to get out our red USB cable. It's what gives our Makey Makey power and connects us to the programs we want to play. Sometimes the cable doesn't want to go in easily, so try flipping the cable over and seeing if that works for you. Now we need to load up Tetris so that we can play. You can find a link in the description below that will take you directly there, but if that doesn't work, pause the video and type in this URL in a new browser tab. When you get there, your screen should look like this. There are directions on the right hand side for how to play. This button makes the game full screen. Click the green flag to start. Tetris can be a little hard, but it is really fun once you get the hang of it. So give it a try and let us know what you think.
All right, now that you've learned to make one controller, this one should fly by. So let's jump right back in and make a controller for Super Mario Bros. For Mario, we need to attach our clips to the left, right, up, and space spots. If you already have buttons made, you can reuse them. I'm going to do that just to save time. I arranged my buttons to be like a Nintendo controller. I put my left and right buttons, which move Mario, on the left hand side. My space button, which starts the game, is somewhere in the middle of the controller. And my up button is on the far right. The up button is what makes Mario jump. Now we just need to connect the cables to the appropriate buttons. I'm sure you're getting good at this by now, so I'll let you take care of that. Be sure to plug in your red USB cable as well, so we can have power, and then we should be ready to play the game. Follow the link in the description below, and it should load Mario into a new tab. If not, pause the video and type in this URL in a new web browser tab. When you do, your screen should look a lot like this. Just like last time, there are instructions on how to play on the right hand side. You can make the screen full screen by clicking the little icon right here, and just hit the green flag when you're ready to play. I want to thank everyone for watching this video, and I hope you guys had a great time experimenting with your Makey Makey.